you're probably looking at the title of this video and uh, having some mixed emotions right now. Please, I encourage you, hang out, watch this video before making any assumptions and uh, getting angry with me. This is not exactly what you think it is. And you're probably wondering how in the world I'm going to cleanly, ethically, and quickly kill a hog with a field tip and I'm gonna show you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, please, again, be patient, watch the video, trust me. We're gonna have fun this afternoon. It is 3.30, 55 degrees, and I've got a southeast wind, finally. So the question of the day is, how ethical is a practice tip, a field tip, field point, whatever you wanna call it? I'm fixing to show you guys just how ethical it is. Let's get to it. I probably thought I was kidding, but I am not. Trust me on this one, folks. I promise. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be good and ethical. And y'all are gonna love it. Nobody's gonna believe me, but I walked down there to check my trail camera, and whenever I did, I'm less than five yards from the feeder. I'm walking up to my trail camera, I slip and I almost fall in the mud. Then I, I take a couple minutes to wash my hands off in the water before grabbing the SD card out of the camera. I walk up to the camera, and I'm just about to open the first latch and pull the card out, and I hear a pig, and all of a sudden, all, these, all those little piglets are running in on me. So my oh crap so I pull my pistol out and here comes the sow and now I am literally at point-blank range with all these little piglets and the mama of all the piglets I'm like well this is gonna go one of two ways either they're gonna run or I'm fixing to get my my lunch eaten I mean I could have killed her before she got to me but holy smokes <laughs> I don't have that happen to me very often and of course nobody's probably gonna believe me since it's not on video but that folks was freaking exciting that will get your blood pumping so the sow kind of grunts at me and they run off and I didn't even grab the card I just ran to the stand well not run to the stand but I came over to the stand as quietly as I could got up in here and before I could even get this camera in the camera arm here they come I back out a second time but she whirled around and left sound like she caught my wind that's freaking nuts hopefully they'll come back i got like two almost two and a half hours of light left and i'm really hoping that they come in during the daylight we're just gonna wait and see uh, what they do hopefully it's before dark but oh well here we go
I can promise you guys one thing, I won't be wasting expensive broadheads on headshots any longer. That will not be the case. <laughs> that pig is straight up down there doing the crappie flop. Now, to just to appease some folks because I know that the comment is coming. Why would you shoot the mama and she's got all the piglets? Well, if you didn't notice, the piglets were down there eating corn. They can obviously eat on their own. With this thick of brush is that they stay in and they bed in and how fast them little things are, chances are they're probably not gonna get eaten by a coyote, but it's definitely possible. And if they do, perfect. That just means I'll save arrows. That may sound a little bit crude, but here's the deal, folks. Pigs do millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars of damage to vehicles, property, equipment, uh, land, you name it, crops. They are destructive little suckers. And this particular property is no different. Now, if you live in the state of Texas or anywhere else for that matter and you don't have pigs, you will at some point. Just wait because they are on the rise <laughs> and they are bad. <laughs> so I busted her and sank that arrow all the way to the fletchings at 15 yards. And uh, we don't have to worry about broken broadheads, broken blades, none of that, because, man, it worked, and we got phenomenal penetration as well. So, super stoked about this, and I can't wait to jump down there and take a look at her. Before we jump down and go look at our pig, I want to give you guys something real quick. And instead of a, a verse today, I want to give you a worship song, and... It is, His mercy is more. And verse 3 says, of the song, it says, What riches of kindness He lavished on us. His blood was the payment. His life was the cost. We stood neath a debt we could not afford. Our sins they are many. His mercy is more. What a, um, what a gift we have been given. Even though we are sinful, His mercy is more. And His forgiveness is too. So, I want to hit you guys with that today on this uh, kind of a dreary, as far as weather goes, Sunday afternoon, but a uh, beautiful day and another day to serve the Lord. So let's jump down and do some inspection. Dude. <laughs> Look at that. I was just right on the bottom of the brain. So one thing I will tell you guys about head shooting hogs is if you draw an X from basically the bottom of the tear duct to the, about the point of that ear, and you do the same thing on the other side, that's gonna give you about center mass of the brain. And obviously I was in the, the lower portion of it, but it did the trick. Bell tip does the trick. <laughs> Super cool. So, <clears throat> if there was ever a question on whether or not a field tip works on a feral hog, the answer is yes, it does. No, it's not the biggest of hogs, but hey, it is a hog nonetheless, and this is the best kind to have in the feral variety. So, <laughs> I'm glad it all worked out and we got the job done. And the video's coming. We as I mentioned before, are headed back to Walmart to pick up some Walmart gear. So you guys want to be sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss those videos because they are coming up very soon. And I've got to get out of here pretty quick because the weather is getting nasty and the rain is supposed to really set in here in just a little bit. I'm going to get everything packed up. We're going to close this video out and head back to the house and uh, get to working on this video. Thank the Lord for another safe and successful hunt. Love you guys. Y'all are awesome and I will see you in just a couple days. Thank you.